Hello everyone, I'm James Hartigan and this is the Pokestars Daily Roundup from EPT San Remo. Once again, we're on the Italian Riviera for the penultimate leg of season 10 of the European Poker Tour. Today was day two of the tournament. 556 runners in total, 316 players returning for day two. And the prize pool was confirmed today, just shy of 2.5 million euros. The winner on day six will be crowned a champion and will receive first prize of 476,000 euros. Well, the red spade was pretty well represented today. Among the members of Team Poker Stars taking to the tables at the start of day two were Johnny Lodden, Victoria Corrin Mitchell, Victor Ramden, and Mickey Peterson. Sadly, there will be no San Remo repeat for Liv Barine. The season six champ doubled through David Yan, but a few hands later, she lost all her chips to him in a race. She was joined on the sidelines by PCA champ Dominic Panker. Well, back to David Yan. He started the day as chip leader. He was a force throughout. We caught up with him during the middle of the day. So I started the day as chip leader with about 180,000. Um, I was at the feature table, so that was kind of interesting because people kind of play differently. Some, like some people, don't. Basically, they maybe take more care. They don't want to look silly in front of you know a lot of people, for example. So it's always interesting. Um, it was an okay table. There were some very good players, and then some players who didn't seem as experienced. Roberto Romanello and Michael Tereniak were among the former EPT champs in the field today. They survived along with Piers Hines and Patricia Padiga. We'll see them on day three. Sorel Mitzi celebrated his birthday today with a massage at the feature table, but no amount of deep tissue manipulation could make the poker gods act in his favor. Soul read states cool. But he is strong to very strong. It looks like a couple of aces. Oh, cool aces alert. versus kings. What a way to be treated on your birthday. See, yeah, I'd say his hand was strong. Strong to very strong. Strong to very strong, yeah. <laughs> that's the one hand I'm gonna I'm gonna put predict today. By the way, I got one in the in the bag. That's all I need. Up and down day for Sorelli. Eh? Yep. Not the first time he's run into aces either. I think. No help for Mizzy. Birthday boy, bust on day two. <laughs> Aside from the main event, there was a 2K tournament today. Panker brushed off his defeat in the main by jumping into this tournament, along with Kevin McPhee, Ludovic Gylek, Anton Wig, David Van Plew, and EPT Vienna champion Alexei Koreshinen. This particular event will carry on into the night. We'll bring you all the info on the PokerStarsBlog.com. So still a few tables in action, but generally things winding down. More than 100 players returning tomorrow for day three of the main event. Among them, team pros Johnny Lodden and Victoria Curran Mitchell. Plus, Lucas Berglund, the Swedish pro, will come into day three as chip leader with close to 700,000 in chips. Of course, day three is when the bubble bursts. It's the day we make the money. 79 players will get paid, guaranteeing themselves at least a min cash of just over 8,400 euros. You can watch our world famous bubble coverage on EPT Live. It all kicks off at noon Central European time on Thursday, the 17th of April. Join us on Pokestars.tv and on the Pokestars YouTube channel. See you then.